We are back now with news making headlines around the state and today the California Redistricting Commission released its draft maps for redrawn congressional and legislative districts. 17's Ashley Zavala has more on what's next in the process and what commissioners are urging the public to do. The draft maps are officially out for California's updated districts for elected officials in the state legislature and Congress. Our goal is to draw fair maps. Alicia Fernandez is one of the 14 member commission tasked with redrawing district lines, a process that must be done every decade following the census. The commission's main responsibility is to make sure districts across the state are all about the same size and population, geographically make sense, and protect voting rights of ethnic groups. Leading up to the draft map release, the commission had marathon meetings this week to figure out how to divvy up districts with each representing about 988,000 people in the state senate, 494,000 in the state assembly, and about 761,000 in congress. We're doing the best we can. It, it is, I will say it was like just sometimes painful, sometimes frustrating, just just a swing of emotions these last four days where I just feel drained. In the latest census, California lost a congressional seat going from 53 to 52, which has thrown a wrench into the already complicated process. The draft map shows that loss created a ripple effect across the state instead of affecting one single area. Everyone's trying to guess who lost the seat. I don't think anyone lost a seat per se because we're just, because of our population, and the population nationwide, we're just having to put a few more people in each district. Commissioners note the key word at this stage of the process is draft, meaning the maps they approve this week are not set in stone and will likely see changes. We know that they're not perfect. And, and with that, we're just hoping that Californians call in, write whatever it takes, give us some feedback, but also understand that these districts have to be pretty close in population to one another. So if, if you want something in, we've got to take something out. For the next couple of weeks, the redistricting commission will be taking public comment on the draft maps before finalizing them ahead of their December 27th deadline. Commissioners say they have set a goal to finish them December 20th. At the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.